Hello friends, this is a special video and this video is inspired by uh, this month's Zamarin Forms uh, topic called Code Snippets and this is organized by Luis Mantos, you can see on the screen and um, on the current date, day 28, it's uh, a date that I have to submit an article and uh, to showcase my Code Snippet for the month. All right. So I will put the link to the description uh, below where you can get details of this uh, article and uh, how to get to see the topics uh, that other authors have also submitted. All right, so uh, in the description, you will see uh, the link where you can download the, download the code snippet. And once you've downloaded the code snippet, you have something like this. So you have two uh, snippets available. And what you will do is, uh, in order to be able to use these two snippets, uh, you have to add it to your Visual Studio. So you can put this in any folder, but I like to put this in the Visual Studio folder. So I'm going to select this and copy, and uh, I'll go to my Visual Studio uh, folder, S 2019, inside code snippets. So this is where all your code snippets lives. So you have C Sharp, you have Visual Basic. So I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm going to call this my snippet. My snippets inside this folder i'm going to paste the the two code snippets that you've downloaded all right so this stage is done and right in visual studio what you have to do is to go to tools uh code snippet manager and right here where you see c sharp uh because we have two code snippets one is c sharp and the other one is xaml so for c sharp all you just need to do is add find your code snippet so this is the folder you go to this directory uh, where your Visual Studio folder is and go to the folder that I just created. This is my snippet and select the folder. So you can see that we have the snippet here. And if we expand this, you can see the high notify uh, property change. If you click on this, you see some description about how to do it. And this is the shortcut if you want to use it. All right, then lastly, before we leave this place, let's go to XAML and also hide the folder. So this is still the same folder. See the, the snippet by snippets. Then select the folder. If you expand this, you can see that we have two snippets uh, here. We have the grid collection view. And we have the linear collection view. All right. So I will show. I will demonstrate how this is done. Now, so when you once you are done, you just click OK, and this will add this uh, for you. Now, sometimes when you're developing applications, you want to make use of the collection view and you want to make use of a linear uh, collection view. So you want your your uh, items to be linear, whether vertically or horizontally. So you can do, you can do COL, this is still not showing. So that means we are missing something. Let's go back. Code manager, our XAML snippet. Okay, this is here. Click on OK. So I think what we need to do at this point, let's close Visual Studio. Save. And um, reopen Visual Studio. So if you, if you see that it's not showing, you have to reopen Visual Studio for it to work. Let's wait for the project to load. Okay, so I have the XAML here. So I can try again. You can see now that we have the shortcut here, COL view. And if you look at the description here, it says generates the basic implementation of collection view with linear items view. So tab twice to insert this. Uh, snippet. So you tap on tab two times. As you can see, you have all the implementation. Uh, and your header has been created. The uh, items uh, layout that is a linear. So here you can some things that you can change are the ones that are highlighted. You can see here. You can change the selection mode. You can change the orientation. You can change the item spacing. So you also have your uh, empty view right here and the items template. So you just go ahead 
and had whatever you want to be in your data template at this stage. All right, so that is for uh, the linear uh, items layout. So if you want the uh, the grid items layout, you use the other uh, the other shortcut that is cool grid, cool view grid, and you tap to type. You see, generates the basic implementation of collection view with grid items view. So let's tap twice. So you can see it follows almost the same pattern like like the previous one, but and but here we have the grid items layout. So the, all the selected, all the highlighted properties are the things you can change. You can change the orientation. So you can see this is already a grid that is a two column grid. So if you want three column, if you want one, if you want four, you change it here and the vertical spacing and horizontal uh, spacing. So that is the shortcut for that. So don't forget it is a uh, cool, cool view. You have to open the tag, cool view. So you have cool view and cool view grid. So this is the linear and this is the grid. All right, so the last uh, the last snippet is the uh, the MVVM snippet. So to use that, so let's say you're working, you want to work with MVVM and you already create a folder, uh, you call this uh, V model. And inside your V model, you know, it starts with a base V model. So you create a class called base V model. Let's call it base view model. You can give it any name that you like. I call it base view model. So in order to use to implement uh, I notify property change, let's remove this. We remove this now. I will just type I notify. So you say I notify. It tells you generates the implementation of I notify property change. Once you tap twice, you see you have your base view model uh, done for you here. Okay, so that is uh, the functions of uh, this view mode of this uh, code snippet, and that is how you add any snippets to your code. So this is what you can do. So you can go to uh, the the link and go to the uh, I'll put the link to this uh, article on my blog, and you see the link in the description below. So you can go there and see the list of all the code snippets that uh, people have written that can be of help to you. So you can see we have the MVM cross. If you're using MVM cross, we have uh, we have some XAML snippets. We have tiny MVVM, single team snippets. We have the UI testing snippet. So you can go to this list to see all the list of uh, uh, snippets that people have uh, submitted. And we still have we still have a few days uh, to the end of uh, of this month. All right, so that is it, guys. I am part of this uh, this month's uh, author, and I felt like you, as my subscribers, should also benefit from uh, this uh, snippet. And that's what uh, that's what uh, encouraged this uh, video. All right, guys. I will see you uh, tomorrow, Monday, which is our usual day. Take care. Bye for now.